welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So, so today's video is me talking about my experience of my last trip to Disney um, when we went down to Epcot for the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival to pick up the one and only Funko Pop that everybody was wanting and everybody still is wanting, Chef Figment. Chef Figment, which is a Disney exclusive Funko Pop that was only released at Epcot during the International Food and Wine Festival, which it was released on, I want to say the 28th of September. Um, we, oh, that's cool. Look, I just noticed that the, the number in the 604 is with the Spaceship Earth. So, um, basically what I wanted to talk about was everything that had to do with this we, trip. I think it was Thursday night or Wednesday night that I found out about the Funko Pop was released. I think it was, um, I think it was Disney Pops or something. Um, someone on Instagram posted that it's going to be released on Saturday, the 28th. And that it'll be released in four different areas, which it was released in the World Traveler, it was released in Mouse Gears, it was released in Port of Entry, and then another store, not Illuminations, something. It was another store. I'll have to look it up, and if I find it, I'll put it right here so y'all can see, um, so y'all can know. But um, basically on Thursday, I found out about the Funko Pop and I really wanted to get one because I knew just like last year, they would sell out very quickly as well as the Madame, Leo Madame Leota Funko Pop the, that was released. It was sold out within a couple hours. So, um, basically my idea behind the whole thing was, is that I'm going to get up early because I know the fun that, that Epcot opens at nine. Epcot opens at nine every single day, majority of the time. Um, and they will be releasing it at nine o'clock in the morning, which I, I kind of figured that it was going to be crazy, crazy, just because it's already busy enough at Epcot during the, during the weekend. Um, so my idea was, is that what I'm going to do is instead of parking in the front, having to walk in through the construction, then walk to mouse gears, wait in line, and then have to deal with all the people that I was going to go and park at boardwalk. Now boardwalk, is a Disney resort that is basically behind Epcot. It's all the way behind Epcot near the France area. Um, there is a pathway that you can walk from Boardwalk to the very back of Epcot where there's an entrance where you can scan your magic band and you can go into the park. And it, it literally walks you in right into the World Showcase, right in between United Kingdom and France. Well, as you're, you scan your magic band and you go through security check, the back check, there is a store right there in the entrance called World Traveler which is the location that they were releasing the Funko Pop. I thought in my head that that would be the best solution and the best idea to go to Boardwalk, park, park at Boardwalk. We are going to walk that pathway, which it's not far from like, uh, probably from your car to the front of Epcot or to the entrance of Epcot. It's probably a mile, not maybe not even a mile, but it's not, it's not bad. Um, and it was really early in the morning, so it wasn't that hot yet I mean it was hot but it wasn't that hot um so I assumed that it would be the best option for me to be able to make sure that I get in there and get in get what I need to get so we woke up we got out of we got on the road I want to say about 7 15 ish we had to stop and get some food and so we got on the road about 7 15 or 7 30 ish we arrived at we arrived at Boardwalk, I want to say around 9.30 or 9.45. So I knew I was already pushing it. So I knew I was late. Um, I knew that I needed to rush to get to the store, to get in line, because I wasn't assuming there was going to be a line, but just to be sure I wanted to get there as fast as possible. So I was very excited because I walked up to World Traveler and there was no line. I walked in, they had probably... 15 cases of Figment Funko Pops behind the register. I walked up to the register. I said, I would like six Funko Pops, please. And they said, here you go. Um, I say, I got my annual discount, annual pass order discount. I got, they placed them in a box for me because Funko Pop releases their Funko Pops six to a case. So I got my six and then I gave me a big bag and then we were on our way. Um, which was another awesome thing was that we actually 
they actually were releasing the Skyliner merch the same day. And that was the area that they were releasing the Skyliner merch. So I was actually able to pick up one of the mystery box, the mystery pin boxes, which there's going to be a video coming after this one that has the opening of that box, which I can show you. Uh, I won't show you the pin yet because you're going to see them in the video. Um, but we got one of those. Um, people were buying cases and cases and cases and cases of Funko Pops, which I really do not think is right. And I do not appreciate that they allow people to buy more than, I want to say like five, honestly. I know I bought six, but all of mine are literally for people. No one, I'm not selling one of these Funko Pops. They're all going to people all over the United States um, that asked me and trusted me to pick this Funko Pop up for them because they wanted to add it to their collection because they're just a genuine collector. And they just love figment. Um, these people that were going and buying 20 and 30 and 40 Funko, Pop, Funko Pops to immediately list on eBay make me so upset and I do not like it. Um, and I do not appreciate it. And I wish Disney would lower the limit to amount of how many people, how many Funko Pops you can release or buy per day. Um, <clears throat> just because there are people that do not have the option to get to Disney today, that on that day, they don't have the option to get there during that those hours that they know they're going to sell out on, and it's just not fair. Um, people just love Figment, and people just love the Funko Pop, and they want to have the chance to go in and get the Funko Pop and just add it to their collection without having to go to eBay and buy it for three to four times the amount, which I don't understand why people do it. I understand. I mean, I really do. It's a business. People come in. They do it. They sh it's their living it's the, how they make their living people were doing the same thing with these people were buying like 20 or 40 of these 20 to 40 of these and they're going to go on and they're going to immediately sell them and i don't agree i don't like it and i don't i wish disney would set some kind of limit um maybe for like just the first day disney if you're listening i know you're not but if you're listening funko pops funko pops funko pop funko pop funko pops if you can set a limit to one to two to three for the first day of the release just to give people more of a chance to come in and get the Funko Pop that they want to add to their collection because they're a genuine collector not a flipper and I understand that that will never happen and I understand people will, be, will continue to be frustrated and be upset because they don't have the chance to get down there I wasn't planning on going down there but I made it a very last minute trip and a very hard decision to get down there. And I spent the money that I did not need to spend to get down there to get this to add it to my collection. Because I knew when I go back Friday, they're not going to be there. They're not going to be available. They're not. So I'm very excited that I got them. And I'm very excited that I was able to get them for some friends so they can add them to their collection because they're not available to get down here. Thank you to my mother who went with me so I didn't have to go alone. And thank you to all of you who support my channel and thank you to everybody who is watching this video. If you enjoy these types of videos, make sure you hit that like button so I can know that you are enjoying these types of videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can come along with me on my YouTube journey and join my YouTube family. And then make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. As always, thank you so much for being here and let's go to Disney.